Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs and I've got a fun card for you using the Bistro Burger Bundle. I was really intrigued by this bundle when I first saw it and I have had so much fun playing with it. I really love these french fries. If I had to pick one food for my final meal, it would definitely be french fries. I love french fries. So I had to make them the star of my card. Now I'm using a few other stamps to go along with this. I liked this uh, from saying hey, the hey good looking. I thought that was cute to go with the fries. And then I'm using this little splatter from Latte Love and this splatter from of Art and Texture. Okay, we're gonna do the french fries first and we're gonna watercolor them. So I'm gonna stamp them first on stays on on uh, watercolor paper in stays on black like that. And I am going to do something, uh, let's see, I didn't get my grid paper, but um, I'm going to stamp the bottom of them because we're going to cut a few of them off for the inside of the card in a minute. So I didn't make my paper quite big enough to stamp two of them, but that way we've got a few to cut out for the inside of the card. All right, I'm going to start with crushed curry. And I've got my block here and put some ink on that. And then I've got a water painter and some water. And I wish I had gotten my grid paper. I may have to get that in just a second. But let's start by getting some water, putting it there, and then just going in and coloring these french fries. When you buy water painters from Stampin' Up!, you actually get three in the pack. And one of them is the fine tip, which is what I'm using. Um, I would recommend that you use that for this. It's... Um, great for like precision, being real uh, precise here, staying in the lines. Uh, you also are gonna get a fat brush, which is great for making backgrounds. And then you're gonna get one that's kind of a mid-size, which is great for, you know, lots of things. I use that one quite a bit. Making backgrounds as well, coloring larger images and even splatter. All right, so I'm gonna go in, just finish up coloring these. Now, if you don't want a watercolor, we have lots of choices. One good option would be our watercolor pencils, where you just color them, and then you go over them with a water painter, um, and it gives you the look of watercolor, and you really don't even have to use that much water. You can also use one of our blender pens. Um, you could use our Stampin' Blends, which is usually my choice when coloring, but I wanted to have a little fun with these. So I decided to pull out my water painter. All right, so down here, just a couple of these coloring to cut them out. Now what you can do to add a little bit of um, variation, I'm gonna get my pecan pie and I've got water there, or I've got some ink down in the lid and I'm just going to take some and just kind of add it in here to give kind of, you know, that darker look where the french fries kind of get overcooked maybe a little bit. And we'll put all that in there like that. Just dropping it in a little bit. Let's do a little bit more down here. Like that. All right, now we're gonna need to give this some time to dry, so I'm gonna set that up here. Right, so we're gonna make the little splatter part. I wanted this to look kind of like splattered ketchup. So I've got a piece of real red here. And I'm gonna take my Real Red um, ink pad and those two different splatter images, and I'm just gonna take it and go around, whoops. Let's see if we can fix that. Good thing it's a splatter image, right? And I'm just gonna kind of, I'm turning the stamp, I'm turning my paper so that it's different, it's not all the same. And then I've got this other splatter that gives us kind of a little bit of a smaller splatter that we can fill in like that. There we go, like that, okay? So we've got that and I've got the second largest stylus shape circle that we'll use to cut that out. Um, we're going to stamp our two sentiments and we are gonna do a little bit of fussy cutting with the word, hey. I'm gonna show you kind of a, a trick for getting that done. So pecan pie for hay, and then real red, should have left that open, 
real red for good looking. And I'm gonna do that down here on the edge. That way I can just chop it off and it'll just be like a rectangle. All right, now to fussy cut your words, one of the things that I like to do is to take my pencil and I just go on the outside of my word and I just create a bubble around it. Remember when we were in high school, we would draw bubble letters. Did you guys do that? That's kind of what this is. You're just gonna go around and you see how I made a mistake and I can use my eraser to fix my mistake. If I were just to go freestyling with my scissors and I was to make a mistake, well, I can't get that exactly how I want it, then I couldn't undo that. You know, once you make a cut, that's it, right? You can't uncut. So if you do this with your pencil, you're gonna be a lot happier with the results because you're gonna kind of plan it out, if you will, with your pencil. And that way, now you really just take all the, the guesswork out of it and you're just gonna follow your pencil line with your paper snips. Stay right there. And then when you're done, we'll take that eraser and erase any of the fine lines that may be left from our pencil. All right, so let's go all the way around. Now, if you didn't wanna do this, another option would be just to stamp it maybe on a banner or cut it out like a rectangle like we're gonna do with the other part of the sentiment as well. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna take this and erase any of those pencil lines that are still there. Down here we've got some. All right, so now grab your trimmer and chop that off and chop that. Okay, let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. We're gonna cut out the ketchup. See the little ketchup cup? We've got a die for that. Um, here's the cup right here. And then the ketchup that goes on the inside right here. All right, so we're gonna cut that out. Let's bring over our French fries. I think they're dry enough. We'll get the French fry dye as well, and we'll cut all of this out at the same time. All right, when you put your circle, you wanna have it up towards the top, centered in the top half. Let's bring it down just a little bit. I'm gonna leave some room for those little white banners too. All right, so there's the cup. Now I've already cut out the little triangle banners so um, if you're making this, make sure you grab that triangle banner die. It's in this set as well. And set it down on there so you can cut that out at the same time. All right, run that through very carefully. We don't want anything to slip. And let's see, we're gonna save, remember save those little random french fries down at the bottom. Get all of your dies. Always have to make sure you're putting them back where they go. If it sticks, you can poke your, take your pick tool or the tip of your scissors in, it'll come right out. All right, I'm gonna use liquid glue and I'm gonna put a little drop of glue right there now, if you live in an area where you put other things on, on, your ketchup, on your french fries, maybe mayonnaise, mustard, hot sauce, barbecue sauce, then you can change up your condiment, condiment here or make several cups of condiments if you want. That's the beauty here. You can really customize it how you want. All right, and here are those little banners that I cut out. Okay, I've got a smoky slate card base and I've got a piece of designer series paper from our Take to the Air DSP pack. We're not gonna use those clouds, we're just gonna use that plaid background right there. All right, and then I'm gonna grab my dimensionals. I'm gonna get four, you've got four fingers, you can get four dimensionals at one time. And we're gonna put one in each corner. And we're gonna put that down centered. All right, and then get your french fries. 
And we put those about right there. I'm gonna put the ketchup behind them, kind of like that. All right, and then we'll get our hay. And I'm gonna have that dimensional kind of stuck down there in the circle. And then this one, we need many dimensionals, which I don't think I have. So if you're ever in a pinch, you can cut off this little edge right here, and it's pretty skinny. Or you can cut your dimensionals in half. Hey, good looking. Now, let's put some banners up here. You only need three. And if you use glue, you're gonna, it's gonna give you the chance to move these around. You might have to kind of adjust them as you set them down. That way they're still a little bit wet, like that. I think I've got two stuck together right here. Well, if I can get them apart, we'll put that one right in the middle, like, see how we gotta move them around? Mm, let's see, I'm gonna have them overlap a little bit more. Oh my goodness, I'm just making a mess of this, you guys. Let's try this. Okay, take your pick tool. Uh, there we go. All right, now, super cute, but let's add a little bit of fun to the front. These are the do adhesive backed dots for days, if I can get them off of here. I'm gonna put one there. And I'm gonna put one down here. Well, I'm just really on the struggle bus today with these nails. They're a little bit too long for me right now. And I just am struggling. All right, there we go. I thought maybe those looked like a little bit drop, little drops of mustard. There you go. Oh wait, we gotta put it on the inside. I forgot, I forgot, hold on. Remember those extra French fries that we made right here? I'm gonna take just a piece of, a piece of white cardstock and I'm gonna put a splatter of ketchup right there in the corner, and then take your snips and cut out a couple of French fries. You can do two or three. And we're just gonna adhere them in the ketchup, kind of sporadic, kind of like that. And We'll do one more like that. All right, so let's put a little bit of glue, a little bit of glue. Might take your pick tool right there and right there. And that's a, just a fun little added surprise for inside your French fry card. All right, you guys, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. There is a free PDF on my blog, as well as two other projects that uh, will show you two fun ways to use the Bistro Burger stamp set. And let me know if you have any questions. Happy stamping. Bye, everybody.